So ease your life. Ease your life by having identical time zone patches. And this is completely, I would say, independent of today's seminar. This is really a general rule. Don't have a variety of time zone settings here and there. Make sure the time zone patches are equal in your environments, even if you have bigger environments, because this will ease your life, not only for downgrades. And updating the database time zone file is recommended normally as part of an upgrade, but it's not mandatory. So you can upgrade and you don't have to upgrade a time zone file of the home or the time zone setting. So in my previous example, when I lift over my PDB from 12201 with time zone 26 to 19C with time zone 32, and I skip the time zone adjustment in auto upgrade, my PDB will still have time zone 26, while the CDB has time zone 32. That works. Yeah, now the final question is, okay, it's important. Uh, we learned from Daniel how to create a database with a non-standard compatible setting. But how do we create a database with a non-standard time zone file now? And here we need to, I would say a detour, take a detour, uh, because we can still use DBCA, but only to give us the scripts to create our database because we need to set an environment variable. So in DBCA, we create a database creation scripts. We ask DBCA to give these to us. And then in our environment, we need to set aura underscore T set file. And this parameter or this environment variable needs to point, as you can see, to the time zone file in Aura Core zone info, you would like to have your database created with. So if I want the version of time zone for Oracle 11204, I need to set this variable and point it to time zone underscore 14 dot dot. And then my database gets created once I execute the script. This ORCLSH here on the slide is the starting shell script DBCA delivers to you. And now you can execute it. Why is it not working DBCA? Unfortunately, DBCA has no option to choose the right time zone setting. And when you still set the environment variable and then you execute DBCA, it will simply ignore it. So you need to go back to the command line in order to create a database with a lower time zone file version. And within the same run, Ah, this run here with the script, you can, of course, do both. You can set your time zone to a previous version, non-default, and you can also set compatible because it delivers a standard SP file or P file for you. And in that P file, you change the compatible parameter, and then you create a database in one flow with a lower compatible setting and a lower time zone setting. So everything works in once, but unfortunately, only on a command line.